okay students uh, let's start drawing the representation for the hexagonal headed bolt and nut we already have discussed the proportions for that and uh, I'll try to get it here for our reference I hope this zoom level is enough uh, let's see uh, so first I will draw the center line and then this uh, Sent horizontal center line so first I will draw the hexagon here and the circle second step I will draw the the bolt head then I will draw the external threads like what we did in the last class and then finally I will draw the nut so once the front view is done then I will go for the side view so let's get the center line first I hope the 150 height for the center line will be enough fine so this is looking too short and this is I can I can scale it down so that we can use optimum area of the screen fine okay fine and move it here a little bit leaving some space for the side view also uh, so this is the side this is the the center for the hexagon we will draw the hexagon first the hexagon size is 30 let's draw hexagon polygon number of sides is 6 specify the center click here C the option is always C the AutoCAD is asking for the radius of the circle so radius will be 15 because the total distance across the flats is 30 now from here you can draw the construction lines the projection lines for the bolt head one from all the corners of the polygon two see the ortho is on three and the four is here now this hexagon the hexagonal headed bolt we are chamfering and because of the chamfering effect as we discussed before you get a circle here you get a circle here this circle is also a visible line actually you see the visible circle because you are chamfering and they say the chamfering angle is 30 degree because of this chamfering angle you can see here the, the circle is because of the chamfering and we are chamfering it like this by 30 degree so these arcs which we see this is effect of the chamfering to get the position and the dimensions of the arc we get the horizontal distance between these points from the projections of the corner of the polygon to get the vertical distance for this arc we have to draw a like a 30 degree line from the projection of this circle where it is intersecting with the the corner of the polygon from there i will draw a horizontal line that will give me the vertical distance for this arc let's see what i am talking about so we need one construction line starting from the circle one thing now let's start the first point for the bolt head so this is your bolt head here draw first line any length you can draw and align the centers the bolt head thickness is equal to 13.33 so offset this by 13.33 this is the bolt head position sorry downwards with this line this is a bolt head position now this bolt head here this is the bolt head let me draw the bolt head area the bolt head is between this to this to this to these lines i can delete these construction lines now this bolt is chamfered you can see the corner is cut because of the chamfering by 30 degree angle so let me start drawing the line from this projection this is a line very important at the rate any length 6 angle is important angle is minus 30 here so where this line is intersecting with the outermost corner here from there you can get another construction line another horizontal construction line passing through this intersection point here so that line will give you the exact position for the arc because the chamfer is only up to extreme up to this point well so draw the arc now i will draw the middle arc first because i have three points already ready for the arc in the middle but for the arcs on the side to get the midpoint I will draw a short line here and then I can draw the arc 
फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क सेकेंड पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क थर्ड पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क सिमिलरली यू कैन डू अ शॉर्ट लाइन हियर एंड ड्रॉ द आर्क फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क सेकेंड पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क दिस विल गिव यू द पोजिशन फॉर द आर्क यू कैन डिलीट दिस टेम्पररी कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन नो नीड यू नीड अ वर्टिकल बिकॉज दिस एज इज विजिबल सो यू नीड अ वर्टिकल लाइन हियर एंड ऑल्सो हियर now the upper line here this can be actually reduced to the length because maximum length is up to here similarly here you can modify it to here this was a short construction line temporarily which we have drawn and also this top line is basically now starting only from the midpoint of this arc to the midpoint of this arc you can modify it now the bolt head is done completely you can delete this construction line keep your drawing always neat and clean Uh, now we'll draw the the external threads. This is exactly what we did in the last class. Okay, the total length we want to take eighty. So from the top, offset by eighty from the top of the bolt head because the total length includes the bolt head also. Now from here I will draw one line here in the middle. Exactly. Now major diameter. Major diameter is thirty. Sorry, major diameter is twenty. So offset on each side by ten. to get the major diameter so this is the major diameter offset by 10 on each side this is a major diameter we want to make threaded length up to 40 so offset 40 from the bottom understand these lengths now from this we need the minor diameter so i'll reduce the length and the minor diameter is you can see only is only up to this 40 length so i reduce this one this is a 40 dimension just to see that okay very fine this is a 40 dimension and the total i said from the top to the base was 80 as we are following this so here we have to get the dimensions for the minor diameter how much is minor diameter is 17 so half of 17 offset it by the half of 17 17 by 2 sorry 17 by 2 8.5 so offset by 8.5 from on the left and on the right hand side this will give you the the position for the minor diameter this is the minor diameter we'll draw the thread run out here like what we did in the last class first point at the rate any length 6 angle 60 degree now you find out the angle uh, you can trim this now trim all enter enter you can trim it this excess length here and here and also here you can make mirror image of this on the other side so mirror select the object just one line and this is your mirror point like the points on the mirror you you have made a mirror you don't have to draw it again now let's think of the the position of the nut so the nut is free to move along all this entire 40 mm of threaded length you can draw it anywhere so for the simplicity and the convenience we will draw the nut 5 mm from the end so this is a starting point of the nut now how much is the total length of the nut we have calculated the nut thickness is equal to 17.5 nut thickness is 17.5 so from the starting point now i will offset by 17.5 this is the position of the nut this is the nut here so within the nut your bolt is hidden but the convention is no need to show any hidden lines this is a threaded fastener the standard part there is nothing inside here just a bolt so no need to show any hidden lines inside the nut so you can just trim it from the beginning now the shape of the arc which we have constructed for the bolt head will be the same for the nut so you do not have to construct it again once you construct it by taking the 30 degree chamfer line you do not have to construct it again just copy this copy it paste it now you can rotate it upside down because you are showing the the arcs here from the bottom and this part a washer end we are keeping it flat so let's rotate this copied part rotate it specify the base point of the rotation rotate it by 180 degree to make it upside down now this one i will move it here so move it move command move select the object you can select it now this base or the midpoint should come to this point click on the point here fine but the length of the nut is more thickness of the length is more the nut 
the nut thickness is not like a bolt thickness it is more up to here it is 17.5 so just move that line there you can delete that short line that was the construction line now opposite of the trim you can extend these lines here okay trim opposite of the trim is extend all enter enter same same command like but the effect is opposite the command steps are same i think you have used these commands in the 101 now what is remaining is at the end chamfer so you can do chamfer chamfer type d for distance method click on the minor diameter click on the major diameter enter for the second distance and then select this line and select this line this is your chamfer repeat chamfer on the other side just don't forget you need a visible line here at the end for chamfer so the front view is finished to get the side view most of the side view is same because the bolt is a cylindrical part most of the things bolt the external thread is cylindrical part so it will be looking same in the front view and the side view what is changing is only the head head here for the hexagon if you see from this side for the from the front to the hexagon you see three faces here where if you see from the side you know you see only two faces here you can see two faces here so that's why we rotate it the hexagon to see the two faces and then draw the side view but the base shape remains same so what we will do is i will draw a mirror line somewhere here this is your mirror you don't have to draw the line but just to see what we are doing then mirror command mirror the whole thing i will select you can select including the line doesn't matter and then this is select your mirror point you get a mirror image of the front view what is changing is the side this is changing so we have to modify this also we have to modify the nut we'll get it from the side view now first the the hexagon position in the side view is changing now you can't see the three faces here we are seeing the two faces so rotate the hexagon here rotate the hexagon center point rotate it by 90 degree now this is the correct position now i will draw the construction lines or the projection lines from this to get the position for the similarly you can get the construction lines from the side view sorry from the front view from the top one and to get the distance it will be same distance in the side view also so you can directly project from here similarly you can get the construction lines from here for the nut and one from here so now your bolt head is between these lines so let's draw the bolt head understand the bolt head in this view has only two arcs here right two arcs so draw the bolt head bolt will start from here to here to here to here and i will stop here and then continue you know why because i want to draw the arc here and if i stop here the short line will give me the arc also so you can draw the arc one arc second point of the arc third point of the arc arc first point of the arc second point of the third point of the arc. don't forget there is a visible corner here so you have to draw a line also here so that's it that's it for the the bolt head similarly for the nut you can start a line from here to here then up to here then stop here and then continue then drawing the arc first point of the arc midpoint of the arc the end point of the arc three point arc position we are using arc by default is three point arc command and similarly don't forget this is a visible corner for the nut you can delete the construction lines now once the nut is done you can delete the construction lines one thing we need to observe here that the corner is removed here you can see the material is removed here in the front view but in the side view the corner is not removed it is remains here because you can see it goes down here at this point the chamfering and it goes up and touches it is becoming tangent to the circle at the top position so we don't remove this area we keep it here we, we keep the corner here now just what is remaining is to make these lines as center lines these are the center lines let's show also the basic dimensions which we have used so this is our 
major diameter 20 correct this is our minor diameter here from you can show it in the front view or the side view doesn't matter how much is minor diameter is 17 then the W always check the W before you start drawing the nut thickness and the bolt head thickness thirteen point three no need to worry about the length and the threaded length because these are assumed dimensions there are no standards by ISO for the length of the bolt the manufacturing companies basically they make a different options for the length and also for the threaded length sometimes it is fully threaded sometimes it is just threaded at the end for some length so that's it I hope you find this exercise easy and this video useful for you.